couple um, positives. Obviously, we solved the turnover problem. Only had eight turnovers tonight, but um, you know, didn't do as good a job as we needed to do defensively. Any time in this league, if you have let a team shoot 48% from the field and 52% from the three, um, you know, you're going to have a tough time winning the game. And so hats off to them. They did a good job. Most of their, if not all, their threes were created off the dribble with dribble penetration. Um, and one of our Achilles heels all year long has just been being able to, you know, uh, defend the ball. When we defended well, that's we've done a good job of that. Um, and in the last couple games, we haven't been as consistent as we needed to be. So... It's just something that we need to keep plugging away. We knew this stretch was going to be very difficult this month of January. Um, we just need to keep fighting and keep getting better. Coach, can you talk about uh, you starting Glenn today? Were you looking to get you know, a little bit of a spark right off the tip? Well, I started both Glenn and Jason. Uh, neither one was in the starting lineup in our last game. Um, you know, hoping to get off to maybe a better start, see if those guys could do something in terms of getting us off to a better start. Um, and, uh, you know, they both, you know, I thought Jason, even though 0 for 7, took some good shots, just missed a couple that, you know, I think down the road he's going to be able to put in. Um, and so, uh, you know, I thought, you know, they responded fairly well to that, and we're just going to have to keep seeing. Just, you know, we're in a position we just got to keep trying different things and see if, you know, guys respond differently. Um, but, again, you know, there's a couple marks of your effort level. We didn't play well at all, and some of the credit, obviously, a lot of credit goes to Miami. Um, you know, you can see that's a, a completely different team now. They got all the guys back and probably getting the – be where maybe they were projected earlier and so forth because they, you know, have a good quality amount of guys coming back from last year's team. Um, and then you add Kaji to it and you add uh, Larkin. It's a pretty good group. Um, but, you know, a, a thing to always analyze your effort was, you know, how you are, how are you doing on the glass and 15 offensive rebounds shows that, the, you know, guys are doing a pretty good job in terms of their energy level on the glass. So, uh, you know, we just got to keep doing things like that, and eventually, you know, more good things will start happening. Well, he's been a bright spot, you know, all year long, to be honest with you, when you look at him, you know what I mean? And um, he's playing more minutes. He's he's uh, really engaged out there, really wants to get better, uh, very coachable. Um He's starting to pick up some things and ask some good questions and and so forth. Um, he's getting on the glass, which helps us. Uh, you know, three defensive rebounds, two offensive rebounds, and he's got you know he's got really nice soft touch. And so uh, being able to get him some pick and pop opportunities and so forth the rest of the way is something that we're going to have to incorporate. Our guards got to be able to look and hit him on some of that stuff because he's proven he can make those shots now. Our shot selection, um, you know, I thought there was some times we did we took some you know questionable shots. Uh, only eight turnovers. That you know, again, the, the decision making wasn't uh, too bad. You know what I mean? Um, but again, you know, we 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 just have to get better at making the game easier for each other. You know, how many shots are actually created by somebody else? We have a hard time doing that. You know, we scored 20 baskets but only have eight assists, you know. Um, we need to get better at, you know, making that extra pass and finding the open man on the drive and kicking the ball out. Um, but, again, you know, we haven't – the defense is able to extend a little more now and not help as much. Because uh, even though Julian scored all other than one, the putback, everything was a jump shot, you know. And so when you're not scoring 
Daniel's two baskets were on offensive rebounds. I think we scored on one true post move the whole night. And so defense are able to stretch out on you uh, when you don't have the in interior threat. And we're still we're, we're getting the ball in there. We just, you know, we got to be a little more productive. We, we we didn't we gave up too many too much dribble penetration. It's a point of attack initially the guy on the ball, and then that guy that next line who's supposed to be there to help gave up gave up that split. And so now when they get to the second defender to try to help, that's when those kickouts are available because the ball's going downhill. You can't let them put the ball going downhill, and that's unfortunately what they they were able to do a lot. You know, and they have a pick and pop for man in Kaji, um, and uh, you know, he made the one early and then the one late. I thought our you know Nate's defense was pretty good. That was the one, the five bounce, three, hit the rim five times and went in. So you know you're in deep trouble when those things go in like that. Well, it's one aspect of it. You know what I mean? You can't get 15 rebound, offensive rebounds unless you have a little spirit about you in terms of how you're playing. Um, at the same time, you know, in this league, that, that one simple thing is not going to be enough. You know, um, as I said, I thought, you know, we were crisper in some of the stuff. Um, you know, now they stretch out. We were able to get some drives to the basket. Glenn did a good job on some of those. Got to the free throw line. Um, you know, we just we our margin of error is so small. You know, you you have to make all your free throws. Um, every shot around the basket, you can't come away empty. You need to finish all those. And then on the other end, you know, uh, you got to get one or two more stops. I thought. It was a big play. I think we were down nine with about five minutes to go, and and Johnson was able to score in the post, and um, I thought that was a big a big play, a big play for us. And then we came down and took a quick shot, um, and I think we might have fouled on the rebound or something like that. Because you make that bad, you get a stop and you make a basket. And now you, you again you, you had to get that thing to a two possession game with four four three and a half minutes ago, then you have a chance. All good? All right guys. Uh, I guess I was just missing um, good looks. I mean, they played good defense, but normally I feel like I should have knocked uh, most of those down. I mean, we good. We know we got to get to the next game. There's nothing we can do about what happened in the past. So we're going to get in there and practice hard like we've been doing. And uh, things will turn around. Uh, defensively, like Coach said, they, they could penetrate almost whenever they wanted to. I mean, I feel like we... We, as a whole, didn't play uh, team defense. We didn't, we didn't stop penetration as well as we should have. And when they, when they get in the paint, the good stuff is gonna happen naturally. I mean, we're supposed to protect the paint, and they penetrated there, and they got easy, good shots.